And now, Guy Moments. Oh, Mo, that was a good movie. I'm glad I let you pick this time. you damn right it was a good movie. My movie selections are always superb. Oh, Mo, it's getting late. Let me go ahead and go home. You don't have to do that, baby. You can stay with the demo tonight. Yeah, but I need to be held at night and surround myself with some pillows so it feel like I'm against somebody. But you got the damn demo right here. It don't get no better. But you're going to be on your phone all night. What? What? Where is this coming from? Mo, you always on your phone, texting on some kind of social media websites or replying to some damn email. But I'm a damn DJ. That's how I conduct my business. Do you bring me business? No. I'm about to go lay down. So you're not going to be on your phone? Man, I'm about to go to sleep. I'm tired. I'm not about to be on no damn phone. I'm asking you if you're going to be on your phone all night. I could have sworn you just asked me that. And once again, I'm asking again because you're not answering the question. Mother... Girl, I just told you what I was going to do and what I wasn't going to do. It's a yes or no question, Mo. I need to hear you say all the words and not all this extra bullshit. Are you serious? Yes or no. Are you going to be on your phone? Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. We ain't doing this tonight. Doing what? Coming at me with that misty green bullshit. I mean, we were from chilling on the couch. I'm thinking I'm about to get some. To talking about being on the damn phone. Really? Well, maybe if you pay more attention to me than jumping on the damn phone every time a notification on Instagram come up, then maybe we won't be having this conversation right now. Why you? Why you? Why you coming to me like I'm your dude? You see, that's your problem. Me and you are not in a relationship, so this conversation shouldn't even exist. So what are you on right now? Hold up. Are you calling me crazy? I do not like it when people call me crazy. My last boyfriend called me crazy. No. I just said you got problems. Deeply rooted. You working your way to crazy. See, crazy is this edge right here. You're back here. And this is you fucking with the edge. Like, oh shit, this, that's, that's the fucking edge right there, the crazy. I'm a jump. How do you think that makes me feel? Well, my bad if what I said hurts your feelings. But your ex-boyfriend was clearly a wise man. And I can't take back the truth. You do have problems. Well, why would you even say that to me, though? I asked you a simple question, and now you insulting me, calling me crazy and shit, trying to tear down my self-esteem. I have worked too hard and too long to build myself up and overcome all these obstacles in my life to be having you calling me crazy. Men like you are... What are you doing? Oh, um, if, if you can come help me out real quick, I'm just trying to find a fuck to give. About you and your crazy ass emotional problems and obstacles in life that ain't have shit to do with me? Mmm! Is that for me? You need to think about what you're doing. Cause and effect. Oh! So you got to hit me! Oh no, oh no. Zemo doesn't hit females. But I shake the dog shit out your ass. Don't ever call me again. You just missed out on all this. And now your ass sleeping alone tonight. <laughs> You must have forgot who I am. I'm D to the motherfucking Mo. Who said I'm sleeping alone tonight? Shit. Uh, hey, Tasha. I just had a long night at the club, and I would love to be in your company. I was wondering if I could swing by. Uh,